Wednesday in the octave of Easter, 20th of April 2022. First reading. Reading from the book of Acts. Once, when Peter and John were going up to the temple for the prayers at the ninth hour, it happened that there was a man being carried past. He was a cripple from birth, and they used to put him down every day near the temple entrance, called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could beg from the people going in. When this man saw Peter and John on their way into the temple, he begged from them. Both Peter and John looked straight to him and said, Look at us. He turned to them expectantly, hoping to get something from them. But Peter said, I am neither silver nor gold, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, walk. Peter then took him by the hand and helped him to stand up. Instantly his feet and ankles became firm. He jumped up, stood and began to walk. And he went with them into the temple, walking and jumping and praising God. Everyone could see him walking and praising God. And they recognised him as the man who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. They were still astonished and unable to explain what had happened to him. Responsorial Psalm Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Give thanks to the Lord, tell his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. O sing to him, sing his praise. Tell all his wonderful works. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O children of Abraham, his servant. O sons of the Jacob he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. Two of the village of Jesus were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. And they were talking together about all that had happened. Now as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side but something prevented them from recognising him. He said to them, What matters are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped short, their face downcast. Then one of them, called Cleopas, answered him, You must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have been happening there these last few days. What things? he asked. All about Jesus of Nazareth, they answered, who proved... He was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of God and of the whole people and how our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he would be the one who set Israel free and this is not all. Two whole days have gone by since it all happened and some women from our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning and when they did not find the body they came back to tell us they had seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found exactly as the woman had reported but of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow to believe the full message of the prophets. Was it not ordained that the Christ should suffer and so enter into his glory? Then, Starting with Moses and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over, so he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it to them, and their eyes were open and they recognised him. But he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, 
Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven assembled together with their companions who said to them, Yes, it is true. The Lord had risen and had appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what happened on the road and how they had recognised him at the breaking of bread. Gospel of the Lord.